So we're in Zurich for day two of the Global Services Forum, Steve. Yes, uh, you we kicked are. off uh, today's sessions uh, with your keynote. I did. And uh, you were quoting uh, ancient Greek philosophers. What was that all about? Uh, uh, I, th I was making the point that I think a lot of people are missing the point about where communications is going as an industry uh, that actually uh, the technology is less important than the impact which it's going to have on global society. And that was a theme which came up a lot when I was interviewing, you know, Eric Shu, CEO, rotating CEO of Huawei, also people like Hans Vestberg at Ericsson. Uh, you know, they all agree uh, that really our industry is on a mission, a historic mission. We're sort of looking at a pivot in the history of mankind right now. And after these companies get done, everything will be different because everybody mm. around the world will be part of this flat, um, digital, uh, economic uh, meritocracy, essentially, based on communications, which allows everybody to participate and innovate uh, together. And that's, as I was saying, it's just kind of a mind-blowing thing, and I think people lose track of it, really, right? It is. Uh, so that end goal is mind-blowing, mm -hmm. uh, but there are some massive hurdles yeah. to overcome, yeah. one of which is uh, the internecine uh, infighting that we're starting to see within the communications industry that might actually hold yeah. things up. We could stab ourselves in the back. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a real risk that um, certainly it's not going to derail the mission permanently. It's not going to stop anything from happening, but it could slow things down. And mm. I think that's a, a shame. Uh, to be honest with you, not everybody is playing politics right now. Uh, I think a lot of companies are trying to move this forward as quickly as possible. And yeah. uh, as you know, Ray, uh, you know, we're doing our interoperability test, NFV interoperability test, and I think we have you know, 14 or 15 companies, including five of the biggest companies in the world, have yeah. signed That's up. That's at the new IP agency. Isn't and it? new IP, NIA, NIA, and uh, <laughs> very excited about that. Um, and hopefully, you know, we're going to wait and see. Maybe in six months' time, we can get everybody else to be a part of it. Uh, but it is the first. Uh, and only independent uh, evaluation of NFV, uh, and that makes it uh, a very important test because, as we've seen with our survey of service providers, 52% uh, of them, over half of them, say interoperability is the number one issue or yeah. hurdle with deploying network virtualization. So, you know, the industry is on a mission. I think Light Reading's on a mission, and we've launched this not for profit NIA uh, to, to accelerate the rollout of, of virtualization. And I'm very, very excited about it, actually. It also makes you our chief missionary as well. Chief so missionary. You're taking the missionary position. I'm, I'm in the missionary position, yeah. and, uh, you know, I, really, what else can you add after that? Well, I think we can talk about another um, key presentation this morning was from Telefonica. Yes, it was. And yeah. the key takeaway there for me was the, the, the way when they came to do their IT transformation, they turned things around in the way they looked at it instead of thinking from the inside, how do we change our processes and our IT in this transformation. They looked at it from the outside. What mm. do we need to do for the customers and partners? Yeah, and uh, I mean, it certainly seemed like uh, a lot of thought had gone into embracing disruption at yeah. uh, Telefonica. It was a very impressive presentation. I think it'll it? pay off for them, yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, this uh, event, which we always put on, I mean, they do put on a great event. I mean, there's about 400 people here, most of them from service providers. It's been very interesting to see a reality check around what's happening with next generation communications. I think it's been fascinating, actually, one of the better events that I've been to. Excellent. All right. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Steve.